Hi, I'm Pete Nigerian, class of 1986 and co-founder of Trade Monster. On the field and in the markets, there is no room for error. You need to be prepared, have a plan, focus when executing, and stay disciplined at all times. That's why we have built the Trade Monster platform to help investors become successful in the markets. Success doesn't come overnight. You build it brick by brick. We're at Memorial Stadium in Bloomington, Indiana, where today the Golden Gophers of Minnesota will take on the homestanding Hoosiers of IU. And it's Engel in slight motion. They hand off. Go. Oh, it's a little flea flicker, and they've got Engel all alone. If the pass is on target, it'll be a big hitter. He's got it at the 40. Once Coach Reeves dialed up the play, uh, I had to quick take a double, double take at my wristband to make sure that I, I looked at the right play. But, uh, you know, it, it was fun coming out right away. And, uh, taking a shot right off the bat. Snap back on a shotgun, all out blitz, fires to the corner of the end zone. Ingles there, he has it, touchdown! Minnesota Golden Gophers in the face of the blitz. Here's a handoff to Cobb, big hole, off to the races, may go. 40, 30 near sideline, 20. 15 10 and forced out of bounds down inside the 10. Here's a read option. Leidner the keeper and he's in. Touchdown. Minnesota Golden Gophers, the seventh running touchdown of the season for Leidner. Minnesota by one. Here's Leidner on the keeper and he has a lot of room. First down 30. Cuts outside, fumbles the ball. It's loose and I think Minnesota got it. He got to get to the nine. Play action, rolling right, Nelson has room, throws, end zone, touchdown! Minnesota Golden Gophers, and wow, when the Gophers go for it on fourth down in that neck of the woods, they don't just want the yard, Daryl, they, no, they, they go for they the jugular. The touchdown. They go for the jugular, Mike. Nelson in motion comes Jones, Nelson again on play action, rolling, has time, firing toward the end zone, it's caught at the five, Engel breaks a tackle, touchdown! Minnesota Golden Gophers, Engel second. I think what really made the offense start clicking was uh, we kept staying, we played together, we came to the sideline, we communicated well and let the coaches know what we were seeing down on the field and they were able to make adjustments, which allowed the O-line to make a big surge on the O-line, open up holes, receivers running down the field, open one-on-one -on -one coverage, and really Phil and Mitch is putting great balls out there for them to catch it. I mean, once the passing and running game is opening up, then defense is kind of on their toes and what's coming next. Get out of the gates early, play at the same intensity, and again, play for the guy next to you more than you're playing for yourself. You do have one more half, and we'll be right back in here celebrating. I thought through three quarters we really did a nice job, and and uh, you know, we got down by about three scores. And and uh, to, to Kevin's credit, and and uh, Indiana's, they they ran the ball on us still, even though they were down by by three scores and so you know some of that's on the kids we lost our gaps in that I also could have done some things to help us out there with them sticking to the run so that was kind of a surprise and not that we would have stopped them from scoring but I think we could have slowed them down a, a little bit but uh, you know that that's part of that offense. Second and 11 from the 30. Here is play action firing over the middle Latimer's got it and a touchdown. Indiana has four straight touchdowns, and they have turned a laugher into a lead. Now on third and five with 4.20 to go and down four, a big play in the game. Offset eye, Nelson under center. Play action, he'll look to pass. Looks, fires far a near side. It's caught by Donovan Jones near midfield at the 48 and a first down. Pistol set, in motion comes Engel. They play action to him, fired over the middle. Williams in the seam to the 20, 15, 10, 5, touchdown! Minnesota Golden Gophers, 50 yards, Max Williams. Second goal from the 9-yard line, out of the pistol set. Sudfeld looking to pass, fires into the flat. The ball is tipped, that might be a lateral. Pick it up, Minnesota, they do. And Aaron Hill's down the sideline. This is gonna be a turnover, and Minnesota may seal the game. It was a lateral. 
Wow! I know that uh, Coach Kill always harps on playing through the whistle. And the one thing was when I saw Brock had uh, went up and hit him, but the ball was behind his helmet, so it was on, his, on the running back's backside shoulder. And I was like, oh, that's a live ball. I sprinted by Brock and just scooped it up and just uh, started running. And the Gophers survive on the road. Wow, what a way to win a football game. 42-39, and here you are, Daryl, three straight. as a football team, I mean, it really starts with Coach Kill. I mean, he's a tough guy, and I feel like he's been through a lot, and a lot of the adversity that he has faced has really helped us to develop the skills and set the goals that we wanted to achieve. And really who we are as a team is we want to be physical, we want to be downhill, especially on defense. Um, we want to stop the run. And I feel like our three goals of being intelligent, being physically and mentally tough, then also being accountable to each other are three of the main goals of um, how we wanted to approach this year and develop our team and basically our team uh, motto coming into the year of the brick by brick, giving us all the resources that we needed to do to really just mold and shape the team that we wanted to be this year. And I would say that's who we are as a team. Sometimes you have to readjust. I've been in this game for 30 years and uh, you know, you've got legends that, you know, and it's hard. I mean, I've been a head coach for quite a while and in this day and age, that doesn't happen all the time. And uh, you know, uh, the people I'm working with say, coach, the most important thing you do is stay positive. And uh, you know, I'm gonna be coaching the game a long, long time. And, uh, but there, again, there's no guarantees in life. And, uh, but uh, you know, that's, I believe that and I have strong faith and uh, I've come through a lot of things in my life. You know, each week he's doing a little bit more and, and uh, I tell people the, the reason, I mean, he's our biggest fan. I say our goal is to make him proud and, and not make him feel bad because of the situation he's in. He's trained us well, the players well. We know we just got to do what he's told us to do and, 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 uh, and we'll be successful. And then that success still reflects on him because it is his program and it'll always be his program. We've done it just being honest and, and who we are and, uh, uh, you know, I think uh, you want to you want to be around people that uh, are consistent and uh, good people, and uh, we're very blessed to have a great staff. And I, the smartest thing I've ever done in my lifetime, I've surrounded myself with good people. But I think any leader, that's what you got to do. Seven wins is uh, the most wins I've had since I've been here um, in my five years. So I mean, just continuing to to be productive and doing the things that we need to do and do our job and they continue to be successful. And I think that's something that Coach Kill's culture is all about. Well, I think over the last 30 years, I think that sometimes it, you're, you're going so hard and, and you get caught up in that tunnel and you don't really see what's going on. Uh, having a setback, uh, and this has been a, a, the you know, longest setback I've had, and uh, you have a setback and you're away from it for seven or eight days or whatever that period of time was and you come back and you see things in a different perspective. You know, you're out of the, the bubble for a while and you come back and you go, man, well, you know, we, we really improved here. He, he cares about the players and, and the thing is you can be as good a coach as you want, but if you don't get the players to play hard and do what you ask them to do, you don't have a chance to win. We continue to get better and the kids have gained confidence. So uh, again, just a, a little different approach, but when you're a turnaround program, you gotta understand too, uh, you've, got, you've got to be a little bit, it's easier to be tough and then, then, then work your way through it. But if you're not tough when you come in, then it's hard to you know, you build something. So I, I think we're right where we need to be, uh, but we've got to continue to move forward and, and put a few more bricks in there. <laughs>